Title, Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence by Daniel Goleman, A Journey into the Power of Concentration. In his groundbreaking book Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence, Daniel Goleman delves into the fascinating realm of focus and concentration and how they play a pivotal role in achieving excellence in various aspects of life. Drawing from extensive research and real-life anecdotes, Goldman sheds light on the hidden forces that determine success and provides actionable insights to harness the power of focus. Chapter 1. The Value of Attention Unveiling the Power Within In the opening chapter of Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence, Daniel Goldman emphasizes the profound value of attention in our fast-paced and information-saturated world. As the gateway to all cognitive processes, attention serves as the cornerstone of human performance and achievement. Goldman stresses that our ability to focus on tasks, ideas, and relationships is paramount in determining our success and well-being. In contemporary times, where technological advancements and digital distractions abound, the battle for sustained attention has become more challenging than ever. The omnipresence of smartphones, social media, and the constant bombardment of notifications compete for our precious focus, leading to what some experts call attention economy. As a consequence, individuals often find themselves pulled in multiple directions, dividing their attention among countless stimuli, hindering productivity and overall satisfaction. To illustrate the significance of attention, let us turn to an exemplary world leader from history who epitomizes the power of focused attention, Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill, the British Prime Minister during World War II, was renowned for his unwavering focus and remarkable ability to concentrate under intense pressure. In the face of grave threats and daunting challenges, Churchill demonstrated unparalleled resilience and determination. His ability to maintain attention on critical matters amidst adversity became a defining trait of his leadership. Churchill's speeches are perhaps the most emblematic display of his attentional prowess. During the darkest days of the war, when Britain faced the relentless onslaught of Nazi Germany, Churchill delivered some of the most iconic and inspiring speeches in history. His famous We Shall Fight on the Beaches speech stands as a testament to his unwavering focus on rallying the nation and boosting morale. Through his deliberate choice of words and powerful delivery, he harnessed the attention of his audience and united them in a shared vision of victory. Moreover, Churchill's ability to focus extended beyond his oratory skills. He was known for his meticulous study of military strategy and deep understanding of global politics. Despite facing numerous distractions and setbacks, he remained committed to analyzing information, making informed decisions, and maintaining a steadfast vision for the future. Churchill's capacity to concentrate on the most critical issues at hand while blocking out the noise of dissent and negativity illustrates the essence of Goldman's message in this chapter. The value of attention lies not only in its ability to improve personal productivity, but also in its potential to inspire and lead others during times of turmoil. In conclusion, the value of attention in Daniel Goleman's focus sets the stage for a journey into the depths of concentration and its far-reaching impact on our lives. By drawing on historical figures like Winston Churchill, readers can grasp the significance of focused attention in the face of adversity and understand how it shapes the course of human history. As we navigate the challenges of the modern world, this chapter urges us to recognize the immense power within us, the power to focus and achieve excellence in every aspect of life. Just as Churchill's unwavering focus steered a nation through dark times, we too can harness the hidden driver of excellence within ourselves to shape our destinies and create a better world. Chapter 2. The Anatomy of Attention Exploring the Foundations of Focus in Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence, Daniel Goleman delves into the intricate neuroscience behind attention, unraveling the anatomy of focus and shedding light on its multifaceted nature. 
This chapter is a captivating exploration of how our brains process information, understand stimuli, and prioritize tasks, ultimately shaping our ability to concentrate effectively. Goldman elucidates the different types of attention that influence our cognitive processes. 1. Inner Attention This type of attention involves self-awareness and introspection. It allows us to understand our thoughts, emotions, and mental states. Inner attention plays a crucial role in emotional intelligence, enabling us to regulate our emotions and empathize with others. 2. Outer attention. Outer attention pertains to our awareness of the external world and the ability to focus on specific sensory inputs, such as sights, sounds, and physical sensations. It is crucial for processing information from our environment and engaging with the world around us. 3. Sustained attention. Sustained attention refers to the ability to maintain focus on a single task or idea for an extended period. It is essential for tasks that require deep concentration and uninterrupted cognitive effort. To illustrate the intricacies of attention and its impact on leadership, let's delve into the life of another exceptional world leader, Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the Indian independence movement, exemplified a profound understanding of the various aspects of attention. His approach to leadership was deeply rooted in self-awareness, empathy, and the ability to sustain focus on his principles and goals. Inner Attention Gandhi's commitment to self-awareness and introspection was evident throughout his life. He practiced Satyagraha, Truth Force, as a philosophy of nonviolent resistance rooted in self-examination and personal transformation. By focusing on his values and inner convictions, Gandhi showcased the power of inner attention in driving meaningful change. Outer Attention Gandhi's outer attention was remarkable in his ability to connect with people from all walks of life. He had an uncanny ability to listen attentively to the concerns and struggles of ordinary individuals. His empathetic approach allowed him to relate to the masses and build a united front against British colonial rule. Sustained Attention Gandhi's commitment to his mission for Indian independence demanded unwavering focus and determination. Despite facing numerous obstacles, he persevered in his nonviolent protests and civil disobedience, maintaining sustained attention on his ultimate goal of a free and united India. Gandhi's mastery of attention enabled him to lead a nation with steadfast determination, instilling hope and inspiring millions to join the freedom movement. By harnessing the power of inner, outer, and sustained attention, he ignited a spark of change that ultimately transformed the course of Indian history. Through the lens of Mahatma Gandhi's life, readers gain a deeper understanding of how attention manifests in leadership and activism. His example underscores the significance of self-awareness, empathy, and a focused vision when endeavoring to effect positive change on a grand scale. In conclusion, the anatomy of attention in Goldman's focus reveals the intricacies of focus and its profound implications for personal growth and leadership. As we grasp the inner workings of attention and learn from the lives of exceptional leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, we are empowered to cultivate our capacity for self-awareness, empathy, and sustained focus. By honing these aspects of attention, we can emulate the extraordinary qualities of those who have shaped history and, in turn, foster excellence and positive change in our own lives and communities. Chapter 3 The Limits of Attention Navigating the Cognitive Boundaries In Focus, the hidden driver of excellence, Daniel Goleman delves into the fascinating realm of the limits of attention, unraveling the cognitive boundaries that impact our ability to concentrate effectively. This chapter serves as an eye-opening exploration of the constraints that can lead to cognitive errors and the importance of understanding and overcoming these limitations. Goldman highlights several key factors that influence the limits of attention. 1. Cognitive tunneling, 
Under pressure or in high-stress situations, individuals often experience cognitive tunneling, wherein their attention narrows down to focus solely on the most immediate and salient information. This myopic focus can lead to oversights and missed critical details. 2. The Spotlight Effect the spotlight effect refers to the tendency to overestimate the noticeability of our actions and behaviors by others. This self-consciousness can create distractions and anxieties, diverting attention away from the task at hand. 3. Attentional blink. Attentional blink occurs when we miss subsequent stimuli presented in rapid succession because our attention is still fixated on a previous stimulus. This phenomenon can affect the accuracy of information processing, especially in fast-paced environments. To further elucidate the concept of attentional limits and their impact on leadership, let's explore the life of an extraordinary world leader, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, the iconic South African anti-apartheid revolutionary and former president, demonstrated remarkable leadership in overcoming the limits of attention during his struggle against racial segregation. Cognitive Tunneling While imprisoned for 27 years, Mandela faced immense pressure and adversity. Despite the daunting circumstances, he managed to resist cognitive tunneling by maintaining a broader perspective on the larger struggle for equality and justice. He refused to be solely fixated on his own plight and instead focused on the collective goal of dismantling apartheid. The Spotlight Effect Throughout his life, Mandela showed extraordinary humility and self-awareness, never seeking personal glory or recognition. Despite being a globally revered figure, he remained focused on the larger mission of reconciliation and nation-building, avoiding the distractions of the spotlight. Attentional Blink In the complex political landscape of post-apartheid South Africa, Mandela exhibited exceptional attentional control. He was renowned for his ability to absorb and process vast amounts of information, weighing various perspectives, and making informed decisions in critical situations. This skill was crucial in navigating the challenges of transitioning the nation towards democracy. Mandela's ability to transcend the limits of attention allowed him to lead a nation through one of history's most remarkable transformations from a deeply divided society to a united, democratic nation. By conquering cognitive tunneling, avoiding the spotlight effect, and overcoming attentional blink, he exemplified the power of focus in achieving far-reaching and enduring change. Through the lens of Nelson Mandela's life, Readers gain a deeper understanding of the inherent limitations of attention and the profound impact they can have on leadership. His example underscores the importance of maintaining a broad perspective, fostering self-awareness, and honing attentional control when facing significant challenges. In conclusion, the limits of attention in Goldman's focus reveals the intricacies of cognitive boundaries and their influence on leadership and decision-making. As we delve into the life of Nelson Mandela and learn from his extraordinary ability to navigate these limits, we are empowered to overcome our own cognitive challenges. By cultivating a broad perspective, staying humble, and sharpening our attentional focus, we can emulate the exceptional qualities of leaders like Mandela and make a positive impact in our own spheres of influence. Chapter 4 the Dark Side of Attention, Confronting Distractions, and Cultivating Mindfulness In Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence, Daniel Goleman explores the dark side of attention, shedding light on the challenges posed by distractions, mind-wandering, and the potential for addiction to technology. This chapter serves as an insightful examination of how these factors can hinder productivity, emotional well-being, and interpersonal relationships. Goldman highlights several key aspects of the dark side of attention. 1. Mind wandering, the mind's propensity to wander, constantly shifting between past memories and future concerns, diverts attention from the present moment. Mind wandering can lead to reduced focus, decreased productivity, and increased stress. 
2. The impact of technology, the ever-increasing presence of digital devices and social media creates a constant stream of distractions, fragmenting our attention and reducing our ability to concentrate on meaningful tasks. 3. Digital addiction, the ease of access to technology and social media platforms can lead to addictive behaviors where individuals compulsively check their devices, leading to diminished face-to-face -face interactions and a decreased sense of well-being. To illustrate the challenges of distractions and the importance of cultivating mindfulness, let's delve into the life of another influential world leader, Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt, the former First Lady of the United States and an outspoken advocate for civil rights and humanitarian causes, faced numerous distractions and challenges during her time in public service. Mind-wandering, as a highly influential public figure, Eleanor Roosevelt grappled with the constant demands of her position. However, she recognized the detrimental effects of mind-wandering and consciously worked on staying present in each moment. Through mindfulness practices, such as meditation and journaling, she developed the ability to focus her attention on the issues at hand, allowing her to be more effective in her advocacy work. The Impact of Technology while Eleanor Roosevelt did not contend with the digital distractions of the modern world, she faced her own set of distractions as First Lady. The demands of public engagements, official duties, and personal relationships could have easily fragmented her attention. However, she prioritized tasks, delegated responsibilities, and focused on what truly mattered, demonstrating a proactive approach to managing distractions. Digital addiction, although Eleanor Roosevelt lived in a different era, her example can still be instructive in the context of digital addiction. In today's technology-driven world, her mindful approach to balancing work and personal life can serve as an example to emulate. By setting boundaries and recognizing the potential for addictive behaviors, individuals can mitigate the negative effects of digital distractions. Eleanor Roosevelt's ability to confront distractions and cultivate mindfulness allowed her to make significant contributions to civil rights, humanitarian efforts, and the promotion of universal human rights. By staying present, maintaining focus, and managing distractions effectively, she exemplified the power of attention in driving positive change. Through the lens of Eleanor Roosevelt's life, readers gain a deeper understanding of the challenges posed by distractions and the value of mindfulness in overcoming them. Her example underscores the importance of being present, setting priorities, and cultivating inner awareness to navigate the dark side of attention successfully. In conclusion, the dark side of attention in Goldman's focus unravels the complexities of distractions and their impact on personal and societal well-being. By drawing insights from the life of Eleanor Roosevelt, we are inspired to confront the challenges of mind-wandering and digital distractions, adopting mindfulness practices to sharpen our attention and enhance our ability to effect positive change in the world around us. Chapter 5 the sweet spot for attention unleashing excellence through flow. In Focus, the hidden driver of excellence, Daniel Goleman delves into the concept of the sweet spot for attention, the state of flow. This chapter explores how achieving flow can lead to optimal performance, heightened creativity, and a deep sense of fulfillment. Goldman provides insights into the conditions necessary to attain flow and how individuals can harness this state to unlock their full potential. Flow, a term coined by psychologist Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, refers to a state of complete absorption and focus in an activity. It is characterized by a perfect balance between the level of challenge presented by the task and an individual's skill level. When the challenge is just right, it's neither too easy nor too difficult, and the person is fully immersed in the activity, they experience a sense of timelessness, intense concentration, and joy in the process. Key aspects of achieving flow include 1. Clear goals and feedback. 
Having clear goals and immediate feedback on progress helps maintain focus and adapt one's efforts accordingly, enhancing the experience of flow. 2. Concentration and Absorption Flow is achieved when attention is fully absorbed in the task at hand, with minimal distraction or interruptions. 3. The merging of action and awareness in the state of flow Action becomes effortless and automatic, as if the individual and the activity are in perfect harmony. To further illustrate the power of flow and its impact on excellence, let's explore the life of an exceptional world leader of Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr., a prominent civil rights leader and advocate for nonviolent activism, exhibited the state of flow in his pursuit of racial equality and justice. Clear Goals and Feedback Dr. King had a clear and compelling goal to achieve racial equality and end segregation in the United States. He meticulously planned and organized protests, rallies, and speeches to advance the civil rights movement. Immediate feedback from the response of the masses and the media helped him adjust his strategies and maintain focus on the ultimate vision. Concentration and Absorption When delivering his iconic I Have a Dream speech during the March on Washington in 1963, Dr. King exemplified complete concentration and absorption. His powerful words and mesmerizing delivery captivated the crowd, creating a sense of unity and purpose. In that moment, he was fully immersed in the significance of the occasion, achieving a state of flow. The merging of action and awareness, Dr. King's commitment to nonviolent resistance showcased the merging of action and awareness. He faced countless challenges and threats, but remained steadfast in his principles, demonstrating a sense of effortless determination and resilience in the face of adversity. Dr. King's ability to achieve flow in his leadership and activism allowed him to make an indelible impact on the civil rights movement. By entering the sweet spot of attention, he inspired millions and propelled the nation toward significant social change. Through the lens of Martin Luther King Jr.'s life, readers gain a deeper understanding of the transformative power of flow and its influence on excellence. His example underscores the importance of setting clear goals, maintaining focus, and finding alignment between challenge and skill to achieve flow in our own pursuits. In conclusion, the sweet spot for attention in Goldman's focus offers a captivating exploration of the state of flow and its significance in driving excellence. By drawing insights from the life of Martin Luther King Jr., we are encouraged to seek the sweet spot in our endeavors, the point of perfect balance where challenge and skill converge to unleash our true potential and inspire positive change in the world. Chapter 6 the Triple Focus Self-Awareness, Empathy, and Systems Thinking In Focus, the Hidden Driver of Excellence, Daniel Goleman introduces the concept of the Triple Focus, a model that encompasses self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking. This chapter explores how these three aspects of attention are interconnected and essential for effective leadership, social intelligence, and driving positive change in the world. 1. Self-awareness. Self-awareness involves recognizing and understanding our emotions, thoughts, and behaviors. It allows us to assess our strengths and weaknesses, identify our values, and cultivate a deeper understanding of our motivations. 2. Empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings, perspectives, and experiences of others. It involves stepping into someone else's shoes and seeing the world from their vantage point, fostering compassion and meaningful connections. 3. Systems Thinking Systems thinking refers to the capacity to see the interconnectedness of various elements within a larger system. It involves understanding how actions and decisions in one area can have ripple effects on the entire system. To further illustrate the significance of the triple focus and its impact on leadership and social change, let's delve into the life of an exemplary world leader, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela's life story serves as a powerful example of the triple focus in action. 
Self-awareness. Throughout his life, Nelson Mandela demonstrated exceptional self-awareness. During his imprisonment, he reflected on his own flaws and the mistakes he made in his early activism. This introspection allowed him to transform himself into a more empathetic and inclusive leader, unifying diverse groups within South Africa. Empathy Empathy was at the core of Mandela's leadership style. He sought to understand the pain and suffering of all South Africans, regardless of their race or background. This deep empathy enabled him to connect with people from all walks of life, fostering a sense of unity and reconciliation in post-apartheid South Africa. Systems Thinking Mandela's approach to leadership was marked by a keen understanding of systems thinking. He recognized that the struggle against apartheid was not merely a political battle, but a complex web of social, economic, and cultural issues. By addressing the systemic problems plaguing South Africa, he laid the groundwork for a more inclusive and equitable society. By embracing the triple focus, Nelson Mandela exemplified the power of attention in achieving transformative leadership and social change. His journey from a political prisoner to a revered global statesman showcases the impact of self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking in shaping a better world. Through the lens of Mandela's life, readers gain a deeper understanding of the interplay between self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking in effective leadership. His example underscores the importance of cultivating these qualities to build bridges between individuals and create positive change on a societal level. In conclusion, the triple focus in Goldman's focus introduces a powerful framework for leadership and social intelligence. By drawing insights from the life of Nelson Mandela, we are encouraged to nurture self-awareness, cultivate empathy, and embrace systems thinking to become more effective and compassionate leaders. As we integrate the triple focus into our lives, we can follow in the footsteps of exemplary world leaders like Mandela, making a lasting impact on the world around us. Chapter 7. The Mindful Approach Enhancing Focus and Emotional Intelligence in Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence, Daniel Goleman delves into the practice of mindfulness and its profound impact on attention, focus, and emotional intelligence. This chapter explores how mindfulness techniques, such as meditation and present moment awareness, can enhance our cognitive abilities, reduce stress, and improve our overall well-being. Mindfulness involves paying deliberate attention to the present moment without judgment. By cultivating this quality, individuals can develop greater self-awareness, emotional regulation, and empathy towards others. Key aspects of the mindful approach include 1. Meditation Mindfulness meditation involves focusing on the breath or a specific object while maintaining non-judgmental awareness of one's thoughts and feelings. Regular meditation practice can strengthen attentional control and reduce mind wandering. 2. Present moment awareness. Mindful individuals are attuned to the here and now, fully engaged in their current activities without being preoccupied by past regrets or future worries. This heightened present moment awareness allows for deeper connections with others and a more meaningful experience of life. 3. Emotional Regulation Mindfulness helps individuals recognize and manage their emotions skillfully, fostering emotional intelligence and empathy towards others. By observing emotions without immediate reactivity, individuals can respond to challenging situations more effectively. To further illustrate the power of mindfulness and its impact on leadership and personal growth, let's delve into the life of an extraordinary world leader, Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi's life exemplifies the mindful approach to leadership and social change. Meditation Gandhi practiced meditation as a means to center himself and gain clarity of thought. During his time as a young lawyer in South Africa, he often turned to meditation to find strength and conviction in his pursuit of justice. 
Meditation helped him refine his vision for nonviolent resistance and civil disobedience, which later became the core principles of his leadership. Present Moment Awareness Gandhi was known for his unwavering focus on the present moment. He encouraged those around him to be fully present in their actions and interactions. By remaining attentive to the needs of the marginalized and oppressed, Gandhi fostered a deep sense of empathy and understanding that fueled his commitment to social justice. Emotional Regulation Gandhi's ability to regulate his emotions was integral to his leadership during the Indian independence movement. Despite facing tremendous opposition and personal attacks, he remained steadfast in his commitment to nonviolence, setting an example for others to follow. His emotional intelligence and calm demeanor inspired millions to join the struggle for freedom. Gandhi's mindful approach to leadership enabled him to galvanize a nation and achieve independence through nonviolent means. By practicing meditation, maintaining present moment awareness, and regulating his emotions, he embodied the power of attention and mindfulness in effecting positive change. Through the lens of Gandhi's life, readers gain a deeper understanding of the mindful approach and its transformative impact on leadership and social movements. His example underscores the importance of cultivating mindfulness in our own lives, allowing us to become more focused, empathetic, and effective leaders. In conclusion, the mindful approach in Goldman's focus introduces a powerful method for enhancing attention and emotional intelligence. By drawing insights from the life of Mahatma Gandhi, we are encouraged to embrace mindfulness practices and integrate them into our daily lives. As we adopt the mindful approach, we can follow in the footsteps of visionary leaders like Gandhi, bringing about positive change within ourselves and in the world around us. Chapter 8 The Triple Focus in Action Driving Positive Change In Focus the hidden driver of excellence, Daniel Goleman explores how the triple focus self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking can be applied in various areas of life, from education and business to social change. This chapter showcases success stories of individuals and organizations that have harnessed the power of the triple focus to drive positive change and create a lasting impact on society. 1. Education the triple focus model has been successfully integrated into educational settings to nurture students' emotional intelligence, social skills, and academic performance. By teaching self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking, educators foster a more holistic approach to learning, empowering students to become responsible and compassionate global citizens. 2. Business and Leadership in the corporate world, leaders who embody the triple focus create environments that value emotional intelligence, collaboration, and ethical decision-making. This approach fosters employee well-being, engagement, and productivity, ultimately leading to the sustainable success of organizations. 3. Social change. Social activists and change makers leverage the triple focus to address complex societal issues and drive meaningful transformations. By understanding the interconnectedness of various social challenges, fostering empathy towards marginalized communities, and practicing self-awareness, they develop effective strategies for advocacy and social justice. To further illustrate the application of the triple focus and its impact on social change, let's delve into the life of an influential world leader, Aung San Suu Kyi. Aung San Suu Kyi, the Burmese pro-democracy leader and Nobel laureate, embodies the principles of the triple focus in her fight for human rights and democracy. Education, Aung San Suu Kyi's background in academia played a pivotal role in shaping her leadership style. Having studied at prestigious universities and lived abroad, she developed a deep understanding of diverse cultures and systems thinking. Her education empowered her to engage with the global community, advocating for the people of Myanmar on the international stage. Business and Leadership As the leader of the National League for Democracy, NLD, 
in Myanmar, Aung San Suu Kyi demonstrated exemplary leadership by emphasizing nonviolence, empathy, and inclusivity. Her commitment to self-awareness and emotional intelligence allowed her to remain steadfast in her principles despite years of house arrest and political challenges. Social Change Aung San Suu Kyi's unwavering focus on social change and democracy for Myanmar exemplifies the impact of the triple focus on driving positive transformation. By understanding the complex political landscape and recognizing the interconnectedness of various social issues, she led the NLD in advocating for democratic reforms, ultimately leading to her country's transition towards democracy. Aung San Suu Kyi's embodiment of the triple focus in her leadership and activism showcases how attention to self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking can bring about profound social change. Through the lens of Aung San Suu Kyi's life, readers gain a deeper understanding of the transformative power of the triple focus in driving positive change on both individual and societal levels. Her example underscores the importance of applying the principles of self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking in various fields to create a more just and compassionate world. In conclusion, the triple focus in action in Goldman's focus highlights the diverse applications of the triple focus model in education, business, and social change. By drawing insights from the life of Aung San Suu Kyi, we are encouraged to embrace the principles of self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking to become effective leaders and change-makers in our own spheres of influence. As we integrate the triple focus into our lives, we can follow the path of visionary leaders like Aung San Suu Kyi, contributing to positive change and a brighter future for all. Chapter 9 Focus for a Lifetime Nurturing Attention Throughout the Journey In the final chapter of Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence, Daniel Goleman explores the significance of attention as a lifelong endeavor. This chapter emphasizes the importance of continuously nurturing and honing our focus throughout our lives, regardless of age or stage of development. Goldman delves into strategies to maintain attention as we age and the implications of sustained focus on overall well-being and excellence. 1. Lifelong Learning Embracing a mindset of lifelong learning fosters intellectual curiosity and engagement. Continuously seeking new knowledge and skills keeps the mind sharp and adaptive, allowing individuals to maintain their cognitive abilities and focus. 2. Mindfulness and Meditation Incorporating mindfulness and meditation practices into daily life helps reduce stress, enhance focus, and improve emotional well-being. These techniques cultivate attentional control, allowing individuals to navigate distractions effectively. 3. Purpose and Meaning Having a sense of purpose and meaning in life provides a strong foundation for sustaining attention. When individuals are passionate about their pursuits and goals, they are more likely to maintain focus and persevere in the face of challenges. To further illustrate the significance of lifelong focus, let's delve into the life of an exemplary world leader, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela's life story exemplifies the power of lifelong focus and resilience. Lifelong Learning during his 27 years of imprisonment, Mandela engaged in continuous learning. He studied literature, history, and politics, using his time in confinement to deepen his understanding of the world. This commitment to learning allowed him to emerge from prison with a sharper mind and a broader perspective, ready to lead South Africa through its tumultuous transition to democracy. Mindfulness and Meditation Mandela's time in prison also served as a period of inner reflection and growth. He practiced meditation and mindfulness to maintain emotional resilience and mental focus. These practices were instrumental in helping him remain calm and composed during negotiations with the apartheid government, contributing to the success of the peace process. Purpose and Meaning Throughout his life, Mandela held steadfast to his purpose to create a more just and equal society. 
His unwavering commitment to this goal gave him the resilience to endure personal sacrifices and navigate the complexities of leadership. Mandela's lifelong focus and dedication to his principles allowed him to achieve remarkable accomplishments in the face of immense challenges. His commitment to lifelong learning, mindfulness, and purpose-driven focus provides a powerful example for individuals seeking to sustain attention throughout their journey. Through the lens of Mandela's life, readers gain a deeper understanding of the importance of lifelong focus and its transformative impact. His example underscores the significance of embracing learning, mindfulness, and purpose throughout our lives to cultivate resilience, stay attentive, and drive meaningful change. In conclusion, Focus for a Lifetime in Goldman's Focus invites us to recognize attention as a lifelong pursuit. By drawing insights from the life of Nelson Mandela, we are encouraged to embrace continuous learning, mindfulness practices, and a sense of purpose to maintain our focus and achieve excellence throughout our journey. As we integrate these strategies into our lives, we can follow in the footsteps of inspiring leaders like Mandela, leaving a lasting legacy of positive impact and meaningful change. Conclusion Focus the Hidden Driver of Excellence by Daniel Goleman is a thought-provoking exploration of attention's profound impact on our personal and professional lives. Throughout the book, Goleman skillfully weaves together scientific research, real-life examples, and historical anecdotes to illustrate the significance of focus in achieving excellence and driving positive change. The major takeaway from focus is that attention is not merely a fleeting aspect of our lives, but a skill that can be cultivated and honed to unleash our full potential. By understanding the different types of attention, embracing the value of mindfulness, and integrating the triple focus self-awareness, empathy, and systems thinking into our daily lives, we can become more effective leaders, compassionate individuals, and agents of positive change. For readers who are inspired to delve further into the topics explored in Focus, there are several other books that complement and deepen the understanding of attention, mindfulness, and emotional intelligence. 1. Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goleman This seminal work by the same author delves into emotional intelligence, exploring how self-awareness, empathy, and social skills shape our relationships and personal success. 2. Flow, The Psychology of Optimal Experience by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi. This classic book introduces the concept of flow and how achieving a state of complete absorption and focus in activities leads to happiness and enhanced performance. 3. Mindfulness in Plain English by Banti Yanepola Gunaratana. For readers interested in developing mindfulness practices, this book provides a practical and accessible guide to meditation and present moment awareness. 4. The Power of Now, a Guide to Spiritual Enlightenment by Eckhart Tolle. This book explores the importance of living in the present moment and freeing oneself from the shackles of past regrets and future worries, fostering a state of mindfulness. By exploring these additional works, readers can deepen their understanding of attention, mindfulness, and emotional intelligence, empowering themselves to embark on a lifelong journey of personal growth and excellence. In conclusion, Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence is an insightful and enlightening book that underscores the transformative power of attention in shaping our lives. By embracing the lessons from this book and exploring related works, readers can cultivate focus, mindfulness, and emotional intelligence, unlocking their potential and making a positive impact in their own lives and the world around them.